Hi, I'm going to show you how to use isolated environments or virtual environments in Python for the Lunark HPC Center. As this is part of a course in which we have multiple languages and multiple HPC centers. So isolated environments are important to create environments that are combinations of Python packages that work together well. But when you have multiple environments needed, because say you need to, you have two projects, then it may be impossible that all packages work together well with each other, uh, and then you can have two independent environments, one for each project. So virtual environments are managed by virtual environment managers called, and the most important ones are Conda and Vienf. And they are used by all centers. So we use VNF because it's used by all three centers. And the workflow is that you create a virtual environment, then you activate it, you use it, and then you deactivate it again. The exercises, there's a video here. The exercises are a bit of cookbook style. So it's, most, it's, uh, it's copy paste and I'll discuss a bit what we're doing. So here we are deleting all the global Python packages. So the Python packages that are installed in all virtual environment. Um, and that doesn't make sense to have them. So I've already deleted them. Uh, but if you have installed some packages using pep, uh, it will remove some packages, which you can easily reinstall again. Now we are ready to create a virtual environment. We create one called vpyenv, virtual Python environment. And this is a bit more detailed steps. Step one will be to load the modules. So for Lunark, we're going to load these modules because the Python packages in these modules will need in our virtual environment. And it's easier to just load them from the module system than from installing them from scratch. Now we're going to create our virtual environment uh, like this. And now it's creating a virtual environment called vpyenv in our home folder using the packages that are already available somewhere from the module system. Um, now we're going to activate it. There. And you can see in my prompt that now my virtual environment called vpyenv is active now. So we're going to install a package called Emoji. And while I do that, I scroll up to the list of installed packages that you can see it's not there yet. So we're looking for Emoji before installing it. And you see it's not there yet, else it would have been here. Now we're installing Emoji. And if you do pip list, you'll see it will be there. There it is. Uh, so I've now installed the package called Emoji in this virtual environment. And what we need is also the Seaborn package for a future exercise. But that was already from the module system. So pip list, we've done that. Deactivate the last step to get out of this virtual environment. And if we now do pip list again, let's take a look you see that emoji is gone again because we are no longer in the in the virtual environment so this concludes this exercise about using about using isolated environments in python under lunax cosmos and uh, with that i wish you a very good day bye